if a Pisces is in a job that they really don't want to be in, there's a high probability of this person, male or female, crying quite often. And they have like a support group at work, a friend that they're probably going to tag in this video that helps them when they have their just emotional days where they're questioning because this is synonymous with a Pisces. They literally will have a zoom into themselves moment where they're literally questioning everything in their lives, reflecting. They're very contemplative, but erratically so. And whilst they're getting up begrudgingly for work, realizing like, why the hell am I doing this? What am I getting out of this? This is where the inspiration of eat, pray, love comes ever so often to a Pisces, thinking about literally how did they get themselves into a job that doesn't serve them? They will nine times out of ten always have an arch enemy in the place that they work, that they hate. And for you Pisces who don't know that nine times out of ten, you're not supposed to be in a flippin' job. Because if you go look up the, the Hebrew understanding of the word job, you'll understand why you feel like it's not for you. So I really encourage you to stop doubting yourself because the biggest problem with Pisces coming into their liberation and especially in trusting a non-conformist way of earning money all of them wonder and dream about something they truly want to do you can ask any Pisces what do you really want to do and it has nothing to do with the job they're currently doing unless they're the lucky few that actually is doing what they want to do but for the most who are sitting in corporations who are sitting in board meetings who are sitting with people who literally don't feed the soul of this earth, who understand spirituality the way you do, who have that sense of respect. For as long as you sit there, a Pisces will be emotional. She will cry. She will cry in a car. She will cry to the friend at work. She will cry to her family. She will pretend that everything's okay, but she'll start saying and talking about how, I don't know why I'm saying she, but just go with it. How... They're going to start looking for something else. But I can tell you now, the trajectory of a Pisces, they go from the job they decide to do because they have a weird peer pressure to people please. And so they go with the safety of doing the right thing, get a, get a, you know, a, a degree or get some work experience. And then they lock themselves into like the security of a company, a firm. And when they realize they can't be a cog, and they're too big for the, the office, too big for the meetings, too big for the titles and the salaries. And there's more, just an itch for more. Whatever ideas they have in their thoughts, they never execute as quick as they execute getting another job and another job. Thinking that moving from a different job is actually going to make a difference. It's not. It's a new environment. Same shit. Because it's the same persecution if you look up the Hebrew meaning of job. So I urge you. A, join my Pisces conference. We are having a Mursa meeting, Pisces only, where I do this kind of content. If you haven't seen, I'm flippin' good at the shit. There's nothing you can't tell me. I know you in and out, Pisces. And in this Pisces conference, we are going to come together, based if you want to sign up to this. And we're going to talk about the areas and the problem points. And then from that awareness, we're going to talk about the possible healing points in how you can go about liberating yourselves from those shackles that you bind yourself to. You know you don't like that lady in HR. You know you don't like that flippin' line manager. You know you don't like that lady who come acting like she's all that, bragging about all this upgrades she has in her work and where she traveled to and where this man went and, ooh, he got a new job and his new car. And did you hear about that scandal? A Pisces is always in the mix at work with what's going on. But like I said, this is not her reality. This is not his reality. He doesn't want to live by these conforms. You can't box a fish. Where are you going to put a box in a fish unless you're buying egg and chips? You're not a egg and chips. You're too expensive to be bored, Pisces. But you don't want to believe that about yourself because either daddy didn't tell you that or the dependency on a father disappears and mom, mom's just a masculine energy and she never was quite vulnerable enough for you to hear the validation that you seek as a child in the feminine energy that you still have not healed. And so you pretend in the stomach that actually isn't healed. That's why you eat what you eat and that's why it will be hard to believe that you can liberate yourself on an entrepreneurial independent, 
creative project that yes doesn't have the structure of societal income it has an expansive structure of abundant income in variable ways that feed to the variable nature that a Pisces needs you need an ever-changing environment you will always get stuck and always hit your head against a wall I don't know how I don't know who else must you talk to to for this to sink in like literally the answers is in front of you anytime you see a dead end Pisces you must feel cry and then move to the thing that really works. But going from job to job is not listening to yourself or God opening a window. You look like a silly puppy just hitting your head against a different wall every time. All you got to do is believe that you can jump over a structure. A structure that is really just limiting here and not limiting in any other way because you can be phenomenal. But if you're not doing this kind of self-belief, healing the stomach... Understanding that blockages are going to stop any kind of reward in future, um, especially blockages that are kept because we know Pisces likes keeping shit because they take things personal because they're too sensitive to not know that negativity is a shared experience on the planet, not yours to keep because negativity is not your name. Everyone has a story about negativity. The neg negativity is a hoe. It sleeps with everybody. Trauma is a hoe. Everybody got trauma. So don't act like yours is bigger than others. Everybody got it. It's just those who are strong enough to alchemize. And in your case, you are spiritually inclined to know what you need to do. Whether it's working at that vet that you, you know, that you really just connected to. Or starting that horse sanctuary that you really just want to. Or, you know, connecting to your, your food side. Because Pisces and food, man, whether they're cooking for the family or whether they're cooking as like, I know good food, Nathaniel. Like, you speaking my thing now. Like, I really know good food. And I, I really feel like if I gave this a shot, I can do it. You live one Pisces. You're not coming back again ever in this capacity. This is one time and one time only, people. We ride this wave once here on this earth. Don't, don't have regret. You're only going to be 21 once. You're only going to be 25 once. You're only going to be 32 once. You're going to be 42 once. You're going to be 45 once, 55 once. Don't think about the thing that you want. Do it. And you are a star sign that makes a plan, Pisces. The way you make a plan for other people, start investing that energy into yourself and see how you can release yourself from all those flippant corporate environments that you are not supposed to be in. If, if you spoke to your younger self and you told your younger self, what the hell are you doing now? And it's not aligned to what your younger self would have wanted you to do or would have been very proud of you doing. Yes, like it. Then I hope your younger self kicks you in the balls, runs away and says, only come back when you have listened to my energy in your adult. Let go of the adult version of trying to be all, you know, and let go. Be more childlike. And if the childlike is hard, then there's a gap there for you to understand that we must heal that child so that they can come out and play with the other children and have and realize they have something that others want they don't have to go convince anyone or be silent about it they just have to be i am a walking example i am just talking to you like i would have spoken to you in a mall in my house if you came over if i bumped into you at the at the market this is me i am just me i literally make money through being myself myself is a gift if you look at the word, like literal meaning of my name, which my father and mother like intuitively were gu guided to, I, I really mean that. Go look at the word Nathaniel. Nathaniel, look at what that means. And you will understand why I must just be what I am. And all that needs to know from what I am will find me. And their lives will really, like they will have a light bulb moment of, oh shit, wait a minute, this just makes sense. It sounds simple, but it's the simple that is hard. And especially for a Pisces, simple is hard because you overcomplicate shit. You you categorize and, and go further down rabbit holes and plan and structure. And you know you have an erratic side and a spontaneous side. And sometimes you've got to take that risk in something that, again, is fueled by an intention where we know that we're leaping in faith, not fear. And this is an opportunity for you to literally do something where if you fail, you fail. But damned if I don't, man. Damned if I don't.